Hello once again. My name is Negative Legend, and I'm here to answer the question, what happened to Dinosaur King? Before I actually get into the facts and history about Dinosaur King, I need to make some amendments to my previous video, What Happened to Mega Man Battle Network. There were some things I missed, or just got incorrect. First of all, PETs weren't Japanese exclusive, apparently. There were several comments saying people purchased them and never required flying to Japan. I had to assume they were Japanese exclusive because I had to purchase mine from Japan. I never saw any PETs in stores when Battle Network was popular. And from the videos I watched covering PETs, I never saw one in English. Second, there were some games I missed. There was a crossover with Battle Network and Star Force. There was a game made called Mega Man 4.5, and I forgot about Battle Chip Challenge somehow. I don't even know how I managed to forget Battle Chip Challenge. Finally, network transmission wasn't on the PS2. That was that's a slip of the tongue. I am sorry for the mistakes. I'll try and do better. If you want to help me with the content for these videos, I make a Reddit post for anyone to help out for every video, just so you know. Okay, now on with Dinosaur King. Dinosaur King was initially a card-based arcade game from Sega, where you collect cards and use them in the arcade cabinet in 2005. The concept was taken from a previous arcade game called Mushi King, where they used beetles instead of dinosaurs. This arcade game was released in Japanese, English, and Mandarin Chinese. The game was released on the Nintendo DS as the fall of arcade cabinets came. I am the mysterious warrior, Dino Man. Now, let's cut to the chase. I am here to test your skills. Dino Man is here! Super critical Super Moon! We're gonna use them all on Sophie. Illegal stuff tomorrow. And the house. Can you talk Sentai? You recorded that? Yeah, man, it's the best game ever. I'm gonna record on some girls. Yeah, it's kinda of strange. Dinosaur King is owned by Sega, however, in 2002, Taito already had a franchise called Dino King Battle. Once Sega released their Dinosaur King arcade game in 2005, the next year, Taito released a Dino King arcade game in 2006. Sega sued Taito for the gameplay similarities with their game, however, there isn't actually any documentation that I could find about how the case was settled. Sega actually claimed that Dino King Battle card game was too similar to Mushi King, so I went digging for info on Mushi King, and there's a criminally low amount of information. All I could find was that there was an anime released for Mushi King in 2005. However, the official Mushi King website looks very new, like they've had more content created for it over the years that hasn't been documented. What's also shocking is that Sega apparently owns the world record for the most official tournaments held on one arcade game series, and that's thanks to Mushi King. As for Taito, you can find a ROM of their Dino King battle game that was released on the DS that I linked in the description below, however, it doesn't technically have any relation to Dinosaur King. Moving on, a list of all the expansions for the arcade game cards can be found on the wikia, where each set is documented. There's only links for the Japanese expansions, but they have recorded the expansions for every other language. In 2008, Upper Deck released a Dinosaur King trading card game in conjunction with 4Kids that did not work with the arcade machine, it was just another trading card game. Dinosaur King Trading Card Game is the colossal new card game featuring all your favorite dinosaurs. Just grab your deck and play out the battle from the TV series with your friends. It's easy to learn. Collect them all for your chance to become the Dinosaur King. Get your Dinosaur King Trading Card Game today. Available now. There was even a website dedicated to the Dinosaur King TCG, but the site is now dead. Because this was set in motion by four kids, there is no Japanese Dinosaur King TCG cards. In February of 2008, Japan released the anime for Dinosaur King, which lasted two seasons. 4Kids was licensed to adapt the Dinosaur King anime for American audiences. 
The anime follows Max Taylor, who saw a meteor fall from the sky, where they find magic stones that can summon dinosaurs. The anime was made by Sunrise. On ForLicensingCorp.com, you can still find Dinosaur King under the properties still owned by 4Kids. After they went bankrupt in 2012, they renewed their license for it. It supposedly ended in 2016, but who knows if they renewed it again, and we just don't know. The show ran in America between 2008 and 2012. A manga adaptation was created by Shogakukan that was made in 2006, written by Yohei Sakai, and published by VizKids. Inside was a collectible card that would work with the arcade game. However, from what I could find, there's only two volumes made. In France, there was a Dinosaur King comic book, and some pages of it can still be found online. A Dinosaur King fan site on Facebook still updates regularly with content mostly relating to gameplay footage on YouTube. And I didn't think this would be real, but the director of Dinosaur King, Katsuyoshi Yatabe, is the same director that directed Boku no Pico. Join the world of Dinosaur King with the huge collection of figures and cards from the TV series. Challenge your friends in awesome dino battles. Figures power up special cards to become the Dinosaur King and bring dinosaurs to life with the Dino Holder. Dinosaur King, a roaring collection. As for why the show ended, at least in America, the show ran between 2008 and 2012. And 2012 was the same year that 4Kids went bankrupt. However, that doesn't explain why Sega never produced more seasons in Japanese. I did a general search about any events that happened in Japan that may interrupt Sega's flow of operations, and I didn't find any natural disasters or anything out of the ordinary. So, I did some research as to what Sega was doing during 2008. I couldn't find anything that was noteworthy or would warrant taking attention away from Dinosaur King. So I looked at the animation studio that created Dinosaur King, Sunrise. These are the same guys that made Cowboy Bebop, Inuyasha, and a bunch of others that I won't get into. I found that Sunrise's parent company is Bandai Namco, so I thought that maybe Sega didn't want to be working with a competitor, even if it's just for a TV show. But you would imagine that would mean Sunrise was purchased by Bandai Namco somewhere along the line, otherwise there'd be no reason to stop the business they were already doing. But there was no mention that Sunrise was bought out, it just made it seem like Sunrise had been owned by Bandai Namco since its inception. Honestly, there isn't a solid answer why Dinosaur King ended. If I had to stage a guess, the answer is as simple as it didn't make enough money so they decided to let it go. I'm sorry I couldn't find a definitive answer for you guys. I followed a lot more trails than I usually do, and I knew this topic wouldn't be easy since it is such a niche show. But I did what I could. If anyone has any insights as to what happened, then leave it in the comments below. I read every single one. That's all I have for this video. Special shout out to my patrons right here. If you want to support the channel, a link to my Patreon is in the description below. Next month's video will be about Mega Man Star Force. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay beautiful and keep playing. Hey, cheer up. I think some groovy tunes may be just what the doctor ordered to snap us out of this nasty funk.